Hello, David. I'm here with uh, USP Pro on a multi-site setup. I want to show you how to build that form that you were asking about. So we visit the USP Forms panel, and I have started a new form here, which you can see is blank at the moment. Beneath it, there are three custom fields, one, two, and three. For each one of these custom fields, I have added these two attributes. The first one is uh, making it required. We can change that and make it not required. We have ch uh, changed it into a text area and we could add other attributes as needed. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a cold today so my voice is a little harshed out. We're going to update each field. Our custom fields are ready. We have three text areas, say for three steps. Now let's build the form. To do so, we need a name, title, and content to make it a post. And we can get these short codes from, that's what these are. These quick tags will help you add these uh, short codes automatically. Here's step one. We added a bit of markup, the input field, and the first custom field, which again is right here. Copy and paste. Let's add step two, which is identical to step three, with the exception that we have changed that and the ID to match up with the second text area for step two. And one more to really drive it home. There's uh, step three. We changed it for the third custom field here. There's the ID, and again, it's a text area for step three. And for all three steps, the input code is the same. <clears throat> the only thing that changes really is the ID of the custom field for, for this form. Of course, you can add anything basically to these forms. So I'm just keeping it simple for the sake of uh, clarity. And then, of course, you can use jQuery and other markup to show and hide the fields or toggle them or Whatever is needed, really. Okay, so our form is built. Steps one, two, and three. We could add a million steps if we wanted to. Not that we would. And we save the changes. Let's preview it on the front end. Okay, so we have our form with a name, title, and let's use some filler text for the post content. These three fields, again, will make it a WordPress post. Again, not required for contact forms for others who may be watching. And here's our three, here are our three steps, step one, step two, and step three, each with a text area and in, uh, file input. So let's go ahead and fill these steps out. We'll grab a, an image, add some filler text, Grab another image. I don't like that one. That one's good. And text. And one more. So we have the post, step one, step two, step three, each with an image and some text. You could add, again, any custom fields or markup form elements that are needed. Really, it's so flexible. So let's go ahead and submit our post with everything ready. It says it worked, so we go to posts. Here is the submitted post. We have the title. We have the post content, which were required. We have the author and some other information along with our custom fields. Now this is what we're after here. The three text areas, custom field names are USP custom one, USP Custom 2, USP Custom 3. As you can see here, these three pieces of information are important for displaying the information on the front end and our files that we have with the URLs of the images that have been uploaded into the media library. So everything is ready, and we can take a look at the media library real quick. There's our images. The, for these three are the ones I've just done. I've done some other images, as, some other testing as well, as you can see. 
So anyway, back to the post. <coughs> Everything is here. Let's go ahead and preview it. And we see that we have the author here. Oops, sorry. Author, title, and content. Of course, the custom fields aren't showing because uh, we haven't added the template tag. So let's go ahead and do that and wrap this up. Here I have the theme, the default theme that is currently being used on our multi-site setup. We scroll down to where the content is displayed and give, us, give ourselves some room. And then we can uh, display the images by adding something like this. Really, I mean, all we're doing is grabbing the URL. And we can do anything with the URL. We can include it um, in an image tag as we are here so that these will be images. So we have, and these are the names of the custom fields that we're using. So here's the first custom field. Let's jump back real quick and just so you can see that. Right here, USP file one, USP file one, and here's the second custom field and the third. And again, we're using those here, one, two, and three. This template tag that we're using is included with USP Pro, and there are many template tags that we can use to get at this information in different ways. We can also use WordPress template tags, and really anything is possible. So let's just save this for now and take a look and see the images, and then we'll come back and add the text areas. So we look at the front end of our site. Where is it? Here it is. There's our post. We refresh the page. There's the first image, the second image, and the third image taken from our custom fields. So far, so good. Now let's add the text area uh, information. To do that, we're using this as the custom field name, which again is right here, custom one custom one, custom two, and custom three, also repeated here. And we're using the same template tag, USP get meta. There are other template tags. So let's upload this. And take a look. Refresh the page. We have our images, and there's our custom fields and the text areas. And of course, we can arrange this however is needed. We could put the text area right next to the uh, image for each step. Now let's leave the breaks in there. Whatever. Okay, so here we have markup all in place, and I'm just going to go ahead and get that going. Here we have the, the, the submitted post. We refresh the page and just take a look. Here it is, the first image, first step, all of that. Step two, step three, and of course, anything can be added, so... That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, again, the key to making this work is the inclusion of this for each step. This is the issue. As you can see on this multi-site setup, using the default theme, there is no problem using this. It works just fine testing on the theme that you had installed, um, this, this input element, for whatever reason, was being eaten or deleted whenever we hit Save Draft on your theme. We hit Save Draft, and on the theme you were using, that happens for each one. So it's impossible to get those in there. I wanted to create this video so that you could see that it does work as advertised. 
And again, it's uh, possible to build just about anything. I hope this uh, has been helpful. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. And if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch.